Hey everybody, RC Power's uh, F-18 day today out at the field. Um, got my trusty uh, RC Power's F-18 V3 with over 300 flights on it out here today and my uh, newly completed RC Power's uh, F-18 V4. Um, I've got uh, seven, seven flights on this now, just uh, getting it trimmed in uh, kind of the way that I want it. Um, the wind is a bit uh, tricky and strong today, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to have much chance to assess or demonstrate uh, a whole lot of its slow flying. Uh, oh well, probably some slow flying, but uh, probably not high alpha. It's uh, been a little tricky flying, but anyway, enough of the excuses. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to kind of talk about some some uh, differences if you're uh, if you've built the F-18 V3 before and are considering the F-18 V4, just a couple of things. Um, <clears throat> this doesn't make a whole lot of difference. The nose section here for, forward of the canopy is, uh, is about an inch shorter on the uh, V4 than it is on the, uh, on the V3. Um, where things start to, uh, start to become interesting is you can see probably best from the side here, uh, the motor is, uh, the motor on the F-18, I'm not sure, I would uh, venture to guess that's at least an inch, maybe a little bit more uh, further forward than it is on the V3. Uh, so it comp compacts things here in the, uh, in the electronics bay. I just measured uh, from basically the bulkhead back here, uh, there's about an inch and a half less room in the, um, in the V4 than there was in the V3. So, uh, you know, if you're used to flying around with uh, cookies or lollipops in your F-18, uh, you might have a little less room for those in the V-4, but uh, anyway. Um, all right, so obviously right off the bat, you can notice a, a big difference in the wing. Um, the uh, the KF-2 is uh, is one piece and then actually scored along here to, to uh, create uh, fronterons. Uh, or slats, depending on what you want to call them, and uh, the uh, it's right on the plans. The KF extends forward here along the uh, the lurks or leading edge root, root extension. Um, I built the uh, this this old gal here. I just I went with KF4 airfoils, but just the standard um, uh, what was stock on the uh, F18 V3. Um, Still flies awesome. Like I say, tons and tons of flights on it. I uh, don't know that I'll ever have the heart to uh, retire it. But um, anyway, uh, so you can notice uh, wingtip to wingtip. I'm not sure. Maybe it's hard to tell angle-wise. Uh, the back, I want to say that the back of the, the wing here is a little bit straighter on the V4 than it is on the V3. The V3 sweeps forward a little bit more, but uh, again, uh, you know, it could be my 52-year-old eyes just playing tricks on me. Um, big difference in the ailerons. You can see uh, redesigned, uh, similar to the MiG-29 V4, which I've already uh, flown and, uh, and did a walk around on that. Uh, angled, tapered out towards the end here. Uh, oop. I wonder if I have problems flying. I hit rudder when I want aileron. <laughs> so there you can see, um, you know, a, a smaller, tapered, uh, more more efficient uh, surface. Again, I uh, haven't been able to assess them much as flaps or spoilerons today because the wind is, uh, has been pretty tricky. But um, uh, you can see there's a lot more, uh, lot more plane in behind the uh, the motor here on the on the V4 as compared to the V3. Um, I have, I built this uh, um, with more of my electronics centered around the center of gravity, but even still, I think with the motor more, you know, closer to the center of gravity than it is on, on the uh, V3 here, uh, I'll hopefully be able to show you. It has just amazing responsiveness in the, in the pitch. Um, it may not show up on the video. Uh, Dave has mentioned that the, uh, the vertical angle of these vertical stabilizers, they're more vertical than uh, on the V4 than they are on the V3. Um, I, can, I can just barely tell with my naked eye. It may not show up all that well uh, in the video. Um, I went with pretty much stock size rudders here. All I did was uh, I left the hinge and everything uh, right where it is and uh, I just ran the bottom part of my hinge parallel to the to the wing plate and uh, you know just extended the hinge down um, let me... 
Yeah, actually, that's kind of interesting because I think I moved this hinge uh, on the V3 forward about half to a five eighths of an inch. So the rudders, uh, the stock rudders on the uh, on the V4 uh, are bigger. Um, the elevons, um, you know, from uh, amount of surface about the same. A uh, little slight difference maybe back here in the in the angle, um, a shallower angle going into the to the nozzle here if you want on the V4 than on the V3. Uh, I've only got uh, right now I only have 70% uh, throws on on my elevons and my ailerons and I actually uh, that's what I maiden it with and I actually think that that's uh, exactly what I'm going to stay with. Um, <clears throat> so a couple of other little mods that I that I made um, based on some feedback I got from Rob Davis from the RC Powers Forum um, I was concerned about how much room I'd have in my battery bay here for a 2200 battery because um, it was uh, it was it was a little bit uh, um, uh, nose heavy so anyway what I did was I put my uh, speed controller on the outside uh, there you can see that's exactly where my 2200 battery is flying right now. Um, I just uh, show you the bottom here. So because of where I put my aileron servos, I wasn't able to put the little tab in here the, for the for the C of G, which is a new feature on the V4s. But uh, I just kind of stuck my big fat finger right in there and uh, centered it, um, balanced it, bang on at home. You know where where there was no wind and uh, before I came out to the field and I haven't had to put any trim in the pitch so once again the stock CFG for me anyway is just bang on so here's where I put my speed controller um, again right close to the motor so you can see I've got my servos speed controller and motor are all right in here and then the batteries right here so you know I've got everything pretty darn close to the CFG and I think that's probably helping it in the pitch a little bit as well so um, anyway, um, I, I thought uh, I would have thought for a bit that uh, you know these these frontrons, these leading edge slats, would cause me some problems with high speed. Uh, thus far, it doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, again, I'd have to I'd have to clock it to uh, to find out exactly, but uh, uh, it doesn't seem to affect it quite as much. I mean, I did a lot more work on the sanding on this. You know, with uh, I've got tapered, um, symmetrically tapered uh, trailing edges on the ailerons and all around. I didn't do quite as much uh, uh, work on the finish, <laughs> as you can tell on this poor old gal. That's pretty much the uh, original uh, magic marker paint job, if you want. But uh, anyway, she's uh, she's happy and she flies awesome. All right, so uh, I can't think of anything else right now to uh, to talk about in comparison. Um, between the V3 and the V4, so uh, enough of my uh, jibber jabber here. Let's uh, let's get her in the air and have some fun. Okay, so quick control check. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. Okay, motor's running in the right direction. Life is good. Okay, so the wind is, uh, you can see, is kind of from behind me, but it's uh, it's been swirling around uh, and, you know, uh, up and down. So I'll, I'll try and see what sort of slow speed flying I can get without uh, dumping her into the ground. I really don't want to do that because uh, I'm still getting used to it. But uh, anyway, enough of my, uh, ooh, enough of my excuses. Here we go. Ooh, yeah, little tailwind launch there. Not highly recommended. So yeah, I'm getting bounced around. I, I did, when I maidened it, uh, I, I had the 1600 battery in it and uh, she was really a handful. Um, so I, I'm at 21.9, let's say 22 ounces with this 2200 battery, easy numbers to remember. So slow her right down here. Very stable. Good punch out with the uh, Focal Price 2700 motor, 6x3 EMP prop. Nice gentle rolls. You know, I was about half stick roll there. Okay, I'm going to set it up here and show you what I mean 
Like I said, I'm 70, I've got 70% throws in the elevator. Look at that. That is crazy. <laughs> you put out up to 100% throws, I think you'd be biting your own tail off. That's insane. That oh, little, little hover rolls there. Ooh, get out of the sun. So, um, I am getting, uh, it's taking me, it's going to take me a little while to get used to KF2 again. Uh, I've only ever really flown one plane with KF2 before. That was my very first plane uh, over a year and a half ago, the RC Powers F-35 version 2. Uh, every F-18 I've ever flown has been with KF4. Um, so it does, it does uh, you know, I do find a little bit more floatiness sometimes in the turns. Great, uh, like I say, great pitch response. You know, I don't even need, I wouldn't go any more, for me anyway, uh, for, for the type of flying that I do, uh, I would not go any more uh, in the pitch for sure. So very, very smooth rolls. Ailerons and elevons, ooh, working together. I'll bring her around here and try a normal loop. Very smooth. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. That was fun. <laughs> Thank gosh, I wasn't a little lower. So she is a little twitchy in the wind there when you get down slow. Yeah, a little more throttle on here. So this great paint scheme uh, with the D-Day invasion stripes is look, looking pretty cool. Uh, again, still uh, the white and white, black and white invasion stripes don't help me a whole lot <laughs> when I get too far away, I've noticed. But uh, the, the cool thing about the F-18, uh, you know, at least when I'm here flying by myself, I can just keep it in nice and close so it's not, not hard to keep track of at all. You know, other than this wind, it's really, really smooth and stable. It goes exactly where I want it to. Um, you know, just again, improvements in, I think in all areas over the, over the V3. Uh, I will be honest and say that it wasn't sort of quite as apparent right away when it left my hand, uh, like the V4 was, uh, or the MiG-29 V4 was. Uh, it's taken me a few flights to really, uh, appreciate the um, the improvements uh, between the V4 F18 and the V3 but you know I see a lot of potential in uh, in the slow speed and and uh, and eventually high alpha when I get into some some less uh, tricky wind conditions So I extended the uh, the wing spar out uh, over stock, uh, you know. So that was a full full speed, fairly high G turn there. No no uh, no problems with uh, with wing flex or anything like that. You know, even in these uh, silly little <laughs> flip loops like that, no uh, no problem. So. Added a little bit of extra weight, but uh, I think in the long haul it'll be it'll be well worth it. Oh, okay. Let's see what kind of rock star landing we can do here. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right, everybody. So there we have the uh, RC Powers F18 uh, version four. Um, just a, a beautiful, beautiful plane. Uh, again, 
I don't know how Dave and Scott do it, but uh, an improvement over the version 3 uh, once again. Uh, absolutely loving how this is flying. And uh, once the weather gods uh, are nicer to me, um, then hopefully we'll be able to really assess its, uh, its high alpha capabilities. Uh, just a little bit too tricky, as you might have seen a couple times in the wind here today, to, uh, to assess any of that. So, let me just put my radio down there. So anyway, um, there we go. So I'm, I'm still working. Uh, I might have to move this bunch of wires over a little bit. I still got a little bit, a tiny bit of trim. Uh, this is, yeah, this is a thing I should point out here. Um, the F-18, both my F-18s have been kind of funny. You know, traditionally uh, for torque roll, you have your battery all the way over here to the right, or at least I have. And <clears throat> on both my F-18 V3 and now this V4, to get it to trim in the uh, as close to neutral as possible in the roll, I actually have my battery over here on the left. So uh, I don't know if that's just inherent in F-18s or it's just how I've built or luck of the RC gods uh, <laughs> or whatever. But anyway, so I still need a little bit more uh, weight to the left of the center line um, to see if I can get it trimmed in the neutrally. Uh, so I, like I say, I might move these wires over a little bit, see if that helps maybe take me, uh, you know, get one click out. Uh, like as I, but as I mentioned, sort of in the walk around, uh, you know, in the pitch, uh, just using the, the center of these notches, which are just an awesome little, little, uh, little thing. I'm, I'm balanced, <laughs> not balanced right now because the wind, but, um, you know, I, I zero, zero trim, uh, input in the pits there to get it to fly just the way that I want. So um, anyway, um, many, many more flights to come. Um, I've only got uh, 292 more flights to go to reach the 300 flight plateau that I have with the old gal there I, sh I was comparing this one to and uh, look forward to having a ton of fun getting there. So more flight video uh, hopefully as I get a calm day and can assess some high alpha and uh, probably as a, once I get it dialed in to the exact setup that I like I'll do another uh, more detailed walk around discussing um, uh, my build uh, more in detail. So anyway, RC Powers F18 V4, another uh, Grand Slam knock it out of the park uh, winner from uh, RC Powers. So thanks very much to RC Powers for the awesome plane and thanks to you for watching.